All right, what is up? It is your boy, President Q from 2K Central, hitting you guys with three bold NBA 2K Pro-Am predictions. Now, let me get the honorable mentions right out of the gate. For one, you'll be able to call 30-second timeouts. You'll also be able to choose two alternate jerseys when you get to Elite 1 and Elite 2. They will add voice commentary. It'll be generic, but it'll be there. And of course, post game replays. Now let's get to the actual list. Number one, they're allowing private lobbies. Now we've all had that problem where we want to scrimmage with another team or you want to just host a tournament and you can't do it because the queuing is way too difficult. Now you will be able to invite another team to your lobby or vice versa and actually start a game like that which will make tournaments more viable and scrimmaging more viable. Number two you will be able to choose your position. We've all been in that scenario where your power forward gets put at the center or your small forward is put at power forward or even your shooter guard is at the point guard and it messes up the whole flow of the game or at least initially now we will be able to choose from the bat where we want people to be at i know it'll help me out a lot because i use the icon pass and when my power forward is at center or my small forward is at shooting guard or something like that it screws everything up for me because i spend the whole first half trying to pass to the right person now you might be like oh that's your fault well no it's more like it's on the game's fault because something like that is pretty simple to implement it makes running plays and building up chemistry and consistency a lot easier. I mean, it's a triple-A game. You would think something like that would already be implemented, but whatever, it's gonna be in next year's game. And number three, this is almost like a given, just like number one, but five out will definitely be nerfed this year. I mean, if you think about it, the physics system has been changed up. There's no more step-back cheese, blow buys have been nerfed, and contest threes are nerfed, and defense has been buffed. So if you think about it, these point guards aren't just gonna have their way with the defense this year. They're not gonna be able to just blow by you or hit you with the step back cheese into the mid range or even kick it out to their sharpshooters to hit a really contested three. No more of that this year. Now you're actually gonna have to run some plays and actually be smart with the ball. Now that's pretty much my three bold predictions. Let me know what you guys are predicting or even wishing for the Pro-Am mode down below. Pro-Am is my favorite mode and I would really love to see it finally make some improvements. It's been like three years since we've actually seen some improvements movements be made to this mode and it's about time we finally get something for all of us pro-am grinders and if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button because here at 2k central we make it our duty to get straight to the point because we don't want to waste your time let's be honest a lot of other youtubers out there just want to waste your time and get to that 10 minute mark so they can add more ads to their video they sit there and tell you 50 different stories and gossip about this and that but here at the channel we want to get straight to the point for you guys because we know you came in for information for a guide or even some content so if you like the sound of that go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to come back for more because 2k central is your best place to find anything and everything 2k and otherwise i will talk to you later this has been your president president q and we are out peace